Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the problem is I honestly don't think I can trust that you'll keep your hands out of it. Okay, well, that is too bad then. I guess that's how it's going to go. Gold Rush, the popular reality TV series that documents the lives of gold miners as they search for precious metal in Alaska, has had its fair share of drama over the years. Season 14 brought a significant twist with the departure of Kevin Beats, a member of the Beats crew and the son of the famed gold miner, Tony Beats. Kevin Beats is known on Gold Rush for his role as the mechanic and operator of the Beats crew. In season 14, he played a crucial part in the show. In one of the episodes, while working on machinery, he faced a major problem. Kevin used a sledgehammer to adjust the roller rings, showing his skills. However, things went wrong when the crew tried to replace the water pump with a check valve. The water pump belt slipped and caught fire, leading to frustration and a heated argument among the Beats family members. This incident marked a significant moment in Kevin's Gold Rush journey, showing both his expertise and the challenges he faced while working with the crew. A heated argument within the Beats family was the main reason behind Kevin's surprising departure from the Gold Rush. Although we don't have many details about the argument, it was a crucial factor in his decision to leave. It's clear that the argument was just the tip of the iceberg, as there were deeper issues pushing Kevin to leave. These issues likely had been building up over time, urging him to take such a significant step. This leaves us wondering about the deeper reasons behind his departure and what could have driven him to make this life-changing decision. Why would I want to come back to a place like that? Depressing. Tony Beats, Kevin's father and a prominent figure in the gold mining industry, made an interesting offer to his son to encourage him to stay with the team on his own mining claim. Despite the appealing nature of the offer, Kevin firmly rejected it, choosing instead to return home. Well, we'll make you a deal, yeah. We'll give you Scribner, all the iron you need, and then you, all you gotta do down there is prove yourself, so it's up to you. This rejection signals that Kevin had become disenchanted with the world of gold mining and had lost interest in participating in the Gold Rush show. His decision to decline the offer indicates that he was actively seeking a different path for his life, one that diverged from the world of gold mining and the demands of the show. Kevin's departure suggests that there were deeper reasons behind his exit than just the offer itself, adding another interesting element to the circumstances surrounding his decision. Although the heated argument in episode 15 played a part, Kevin's departure from Gold Rush was driven by deeper issues. Many fans believe it wasn't just the argument, but years of feeling unappreciated that led to his exit. Kevin had worked with his father since age 13, but felt undervalued. In season 14, his father publicly praised another miner, Parker Schnabel, making Kevin's lack of recognition even more clear. This made Kevin question his role and self-worth. Ultimately, Kevin's longing for acknowledgement and his sense of being overlooked by his family, especially his father, became overwhelming. This led to his decision to leave, highlighting the deep impact of feeling unappreciated on his decision-making. It's a reminder that recognition and appreciation matter deeply in relationships, even within families, and can shape significant life choices. During season 14, Parker Schnabel, a young and talented gold miner, presented Tony Beats with a tour of his Dominion Creek property, featuring cutting-edge machinery he intended to sell for a significant profit. To Kevin's surprise and disappointment, Tony publicly praised Parker for his accomplishments and contributions to the mining industry. That doesn't matter, but in the early days I seen potential, you had the desire. It is good to see people be successful. I appreciate that. The effortless praise and recognition given to Parker by Tony deeply impacted Kevin. Despite years of hard work within his family's mining crew, Kevin had long sought his father's acknowledgement. Seeing his father openly commend Parker intensified Kevin's feelings of being overlooked and undervalued. This moment highlighted the clear contrast in how Tony treated an outsider compared to his own son, underscoring the emotional troubles Kevin faced and ultimately contributing to his decision to depart from Gold Rush. Kevin's internal struggles became evident as he contemplated his father's praise of Parker Schnabel. He dealt with a deepening sense of discomfort, realizing that his father possessed a kind and appreciative side that had evaded him as the eldest son. The public admiration directed at Parker in contrast to the absence of recognition for Kevin's contributions, urged on some intense soul-searching. Kevin began to question his role within the Beats crew and the mining industry overall. He wondered why he continued to exert himself tirelessly when his efforts appeared to be met with indifference. 
These internal battles revealed the emotional toll of feeling unappreciated and overlooked, ultimately influencing Kevin's decision to seek a break from mining and the Gold Rush show in pursuit of self-recognition and personal fulfillment. Kevin's intense desire for recognition and appreciation from his father became a key factor in his departure from Gold Rush. He longed for the acknowledgement he felt he had earned, but saw it slipping away as his father praised Parker. The strained relationship between Kevin and his father, Tony Beats, became noticeable to viewers as the show progressed. While Tony may not have fully understood the depth of his son's internal turmoil, the audience observed the growing tension between them. Kevin's longing for recognition from his father, coupled with the lack of acknowledgement, had a deep impact on their relationship. The emotional toll of feeling unappreciated by the one person he most desired recognition from pushed Kevin to seek a break from the mining pit and the familial pressures that accompanied it. Their strained relationship highlighted the importance of communication and recognition within families, serving as a reminder of the emotional toll that can result from unresolved issues and unmet expectations. Kevin Beats opted to take a break from the Beats crew and the gold mining industry. This decision allowed him to step away from the mining pit, offering a break from the challenges he had faced. It also allowed him to devote more time to his girlfriend, Faith Tang, with whom he had been in a relationship since 2019. During his break from Gold Rush, Kevin planned to indulge in gardening and home improvement projects. This break offered him the chance to distance himself from the demanding mining world and consider alternative career opportunities. It was a period of personal reflection and a pursuit of balance between work and personal life. Kevin's departure had a notable impact on the Beats crew. Tony Beats had to urgently find a capable replacement for his son, who played a vital role in the team's mining operations. This sudden change added extra stress to the crew as they adapted to the absence of a key member. The already existing tension between father and son appeared to intensify following Kevin's exit. Tony dealt with the puzzling decision of his son, questioning why Kevin had placed him in a challenging position for season 14 of Gold Rush. The crew had to navigate these dynamics while striving to maintain their mining operations, creating an atmosphere of uncertainty and change within the team. The Beats family faced the challenge of adjusting to life without Kevin on the show. Tony Beats made it clear that he intended to find a trustworthy replacement for his son during his absence. This shift marked a significant change for the Beats crew as they had grown accustomed to Kevin's presence and his valuable expertise. Minnie Beats, Kevin's mother, acknowledged the reality of her son's absence, recognizing that change is unavoidable and sometimes there are no alternatives. The Beats family had to come to terms with Kevin's departure and the consequences it had on their mining operations. This adjustment period required them to adapt to new roles and responsibilities within the crew as they navigated the season without their key team member. With Kevin's departure, the Beats family sought a replacement to fill his role. Fans suggest Monica Beats, Kevin's younger sister, who had been learning about mining operations from their experienced father, might step in. Monica Beats, as the youngest member of the Beats clan, has been immersed in the world of gold mining from a tender age, giving her a solid understanding of the operation's ins and outs. Starting from the age of 12, she became acquainted with the family's mining machinery, and by the time she was 18, she had already started working full-time alongside her father, Tony Beats. Now, Monica is seizing the opportunity to manage a plant, showcasing her capability to step in for her brother, Kevin, as he takes a break to focus on gardening and home improvement projects. Monica's skill in handling technical challenges created by Kevin's absence hints at her potential to take on his responsibilities during his hiatus. Her development within the Beats family mining business could be crucial in sustaining the crew's operations. This potential transition highlights the importance of family involvement and passing down skills in the world of gold mining, showcasing the Beats family's commitment to keeping the business within their own ranks. Kevin Beats, known as the Prince of Gold Mining, had a crucial role in the Beats crew for many years. He began his journey at a young age, working in the gold mines and learning from his father. Kevin's natural mechanical talents and unwavering commitment to the family business quickly established him as an essential team member. He assumed leadership positions within the Beats crew, bringing in innovations and making significant contributions to their accomplishments. 
his progression from a young miner to a respected figure in the gold mining industry showcased his dedication and expertise, earning him the well-deserved title of the Prince of Gold Mining. Kevin Beat's unfazed commitment to gold mining yielded substantial rewards. His estimated net worth stood at an impressive $2 million, a testament to his hard work and dedication. Furthermore, the entire Beats crew reaped significant financial benefits, with individual earnings ranging from $10,000 to $25,000 per episode of Gold Rush. Both Tony and Kevin Beats had made remarkable contributions to the gold mining industry, earning them well-deserved respect and recognition within the field. Their combined efforts and achievements had a lasting impact on the industry, cementing their positions as influential figures in the world of gold mining. The decision to leave likely stemmed from Kevin's need to address his internal struggles and seek recognition and fulfillment elsewhere. His departure served as a reminder of the impact of feeling unappreciated and the importance of addressing such issues for personal well-being, even in the context of a beloved TV show. Kevin's departure from the show brought attention to the emotional distance that had developed between him and Tony. It wasn't just about Kevin being physically absent. It was about the emotional disconnect they experienced. The absence of recognition and praise from Tony significantly affected Kevin's self-esteem and self-worth. This emotional gap highlighted the importance of communication and appreciation within families and served as a reminder of the lasting impact such issues can have on relationships. It underlined the significance of addressing emotional distance to maintain healthy and supportive family dynamics, even in the unique context of a TV show like Gold Rush. Tony Beats might have intentionally refrained from expressing appreciation for his son, Kevin, to prevent him from becoming excessively proud due to his potential and accomplishments. While this parenting approach might have been effective during Kevin's younger years, it appeared to have negative consequences as he grew older. As Kevin matured, the lack of acknowledgement from his father seemed to strain their relationship and erode his self-esteem. This deliberate approach, intended to curb arrogance, unwittingly contributed to emotional distance and dissatisfaction. It emphasizes the importance of finding a balance in parenting and recognizing the significance of providing validation and praise when deserved, even within a family. Season 14 of Gold Rush took an emotional toll on Kevin. The public praise of Parker Schnabel seemingly harmless, deeply affected Kevin's emotional well-being. It served as a painful reminder of the recognition he had yearned for from his father, but had never received. Kevin's emotional battles and his desire for acknowledgement played a crucial role in his choice to depart from the show. It became clear that he needed a break from the relentless pursuit of recognition that had consistently escaped him. His departure highlights the significance of addressing emotional struggles and the importance of seeking balance and fulfillment in one's life. Kevin Beat's decision to leave Gold Rush provided him with a valuable opportunity for self-reflection. It enabled him to take a break from the demanding world of mining and consider his priorities, personal fulfillment, and alternative career options outside the mining pit. During his hiatus, Kevin focused on activities which offered him a chance to reconnect with himself and his personal life. This break allowed him to step away from the intense demands of his previous work and seek a healthier balance. It highlights the importance of taking time for self-reflection and reassessment when faced with challenges or changes in one's life, as it can lead to personal growth and a more fulfilling path forward. It is clear that he aimed to prioritize personal growth and create cherished moments with his girlfriend, Faith Tang. This hiatus offered him an opportunity to explore new interests, cultivate meaningful relationships, and potentially discover new career paths. While we won't delve into the specifics of his activities, it underscores the importance of taking time for personal growth and self-discovery in one's life journey. Kevin's decision to step back from his mining career highlights the value of pursuing a balanced and fulfilling life beyond one's professional endeavors. Kevin Beat's exit from season 14 of Gold Rush has left fans uncertain about his future with the show. While his break allowed him to explore new interests and opportunities, it remains unclear whether he will make a return in future seasons. Kevin's decision to step away from the mining world for a while leaves the door open for various possibilities. Whether he chooses to come back to Gold Rush or pursues a different path in life, his future remains uncertain. Fans will undoubtedly keep an eye out for updates on Kevin's journey and whether he will continue to be a part of the Gold Rush family in the seasons to come. 
All in all, Kevin Beat's exit from season 14 of Gold Rush was a significant development that left fans and viewers interested. While we have shed light on the immediate reasons for his departure, we have also highlighted deeper underlying issues, particularly his longing for recognition and appreciation from his father, Tony Beats. Kevin's decision to take a break from the mining pit and the show allowed him to focus on personal growth and spend time with his girlfriend. It also prompted the Beats family to adapt to life without their valued team members. The emotional toll of season 14 and the strained relationship between father and son showed the complex dynamics within the Beats family. Kevin's departure, while unexpected, served as a catalyst for change, both for him and for those left behind in the world of Gold Rush. As fans eagerly await updates on Kevin Beats' future endeavors, one thing remains clear. His journey on Gold Rush has left an unerasable mark on the world of gold mining, and his departure has left a void that may take time to fill. Kevin Beats' departure from season 14 of Gold Rush surely sent shockwaves through the show's fan base. Many viewers had grown attached to the Beats family and were left wondering what could have led to his unexpected exit. We can see the crucial moment that led to Kevin's departure, but this also raises questions about the broader context of his decision. The incident in episode 15, where Kevin was involved in machinery repair, became the turning point. His role as the mechanic of the Beats crew highlighted his expertise and vital contribution to the team. However, this crucial episode took a disastrous turn when a machinery mishap led to a heated argument among the Beats family members. This season of Gold Rush has seen the return of fan favorites leading the charge, with Fred Lewis and the Clayton brothers' previous struggles to strike gold now behind them. Rick Ness is back in action, alongside Parker Schnabel and Tony Beats, presenting viewers with three of the show's most successful miners in its 14th season. However, a notable absence caught the attention of fans. Kevin Beats was missing from the lineup. The reason behind his absence was revealed during a video call featured on the show, where Kevin, alongside his wife Faith Tang, informed his father that he would not be participating in this season's gold mining endeavors. Opting to communicate this decision via a video call just as the mining season was about to commence, left Tony Beats in a difficult position, scrambling to find a replacement for Kevin with little time to spare. Kevin expressed his desire to focus on gardening and home improvement projects with his wife, indicating a shift in his interests away from the demanding life of mining. This decision to prioritize his personal life and time with his wife over mining did not sit well with Tony, who dismissed Kevin's reasons as inadequate and expressed his frustration with Kevin's last-minute announcement. Tony's reaction, characterizing Kevin's explanation as a shit excuse, shows his disappointment and the challenging situation it created for the mining operations. Kevin has long been an integral part of the Beats crew, working under the guidance of his father, Tony Beats, in the family's mining operations. Within this familial team, Kevin, the youngest of three brothers involved in mining, faced his first significant challenge in the industry back in 2011. He was first shown and featured as of season five at age 26, working at the Paradise Hill claim and disassembling the Beats Bacon Strip Machine 1 at Clear Creek and reassembling it at Eureka Creek claim. He graduated from the University of New Brunswick with a degree in 2016. For a period of nearly three years, Kevin was tasked with managing the Eureka campground, honing his skills in the field before taking on his first dredge project in 2013. His affinity for operating heavy machinery has earned him the self-proclaimed title of master. Beyond his skills with machinery, Kevin is a man of many talents. He is an avid diver, musician, cooking enthusiast, as well as a proficient welder, mechanic, and fabricator. At the age of 33, Kevin, the youngest sibling, oversees a considerable team of miners. His educational background, a bachelor's degree in computer science, combined with his leadership skills, equips him with the necessary tools to innovate and improve operations. Kevin is particularly interested in applying the latest dredging techniques, aiming to boost the efficiency and productivity of his team. This blend of technical knowledge and practical experience places him at the forefront of modernizing the family's gold mining efforts. Kevin's exit was not solely a result of the argument, but appeared to be a culmination of long-standing feelings of being unappreciated within the family, especially in comparison to outsiders like Parker Schnabel. The praise heaped upon Parker by Tony had clearly affected Kevin deeply, contributing to his sense of inadequacy and frustration. Kevin's departure was not just a reaction to the argument, 
but a reflection of his desire for recognition, validation, and a break from the emotional turmoil that had been building up over the years. As fans eagerly awaited updates on Kevin's future, his departure served as a reminder of the complexities within family dynamics, the importance of open communication, and the need for individuals to prioritize their mental and emotional well-being, even in the context of a beloved TV show like Gold Rush.